everybody. What's going on? This is Caden Cleveland here with the Oklahoma Senate, and you're joining us for another episode of OK Senate on Deck. We have a very special episode for you this week. Uh, we are, of course, joined with our President Pro Tem, Senator Greg Treat, but we have a special guest this week, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell. Um, thank you both for uh, joining us this week. Yeah, thanks for having us. I'm excited to have you here. Thanks, man. I'm glad I'm here. Absolutely. Pro Tim. That's right. <laughs> so uh, today uh, we have uh, Lieutenant Governor on, obviously kind of a special episode, really hoping to just uh, learn a little bit more about, um, one, just talk about your, uh, you guys know each other a little bit before you became Lieutenant Governor, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We've known each other for, well, since 2004, I guess. Yeah. So a little bit. Gotcha. Uh, it, since he was about 15 years old. Oh, seriously. So it goes, <laughs> it goes way back. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then one Not we, too far off. No. Probably yeah. not. And then we can get into a little bit about, uh, I want to talk about your role as the Secretary of Tourism and Branding yeah. and kind of uh, explain uh, where you've kind of uh, been in your months in that role so far and um, kind of explore that idea. Is that all right? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Well, just to kind of uh, talk first about... Um, Y'all's relationship. Uh, I know, uh, Senator Tree, you've talked before about um, how y'all y'all had met before on the campaign trail. Uh, can you yeah. kind of tell us uh, a little bit about that? So we met on Tom Coburn's race for the U.S. Senate in 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, he was out of the Tulsa area. I was in the Oklahoma City area. I used to. I grew up in Catoosa. I think we've talked about that on the podcast before. So just one or two times. Yeah, yeah you know the Blue Well, <laughs> Catoosa, Molly's Landing, Catoosa, Catoosa. No, yeah. uh, uh, but anyway, he, he grew up in the Tulsa area and uh, actually knew some of my wife's cousins really well. Uh, and then uh, I know this may go out a little bit later, but we're actually uh, taping this on Tom Coburn's birthday. So. Oh. If Tom Coburn's listening, happy birthday, well, there we uh, go. relatedly. I'm sure he is. Yeah, but no, uh, we, we met on that, and uh, he worked with my brother up in the Tulsa area, and, and I worked in Oklahoma City, and it, that was a that was an intense time. It, it, it was, uh, and we do. We claim Senator Tree uh, on, on that side of the turnpike, for sure. Good Catoosa boy, Catoosa's own. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a fun time. We kind of grew up together in politics. Mm -hmm. Uh, worked for, for, for men and women that we believed in. We thought we were going to do a great job when they got into elected office, and they did. Right. Uh, and so, yeah, it's been been great to get to know the, the Treat family over the years, and they're dear friends of mine. And they were, they were good. it's good to have mentors like that that you saw that got into the political world and weren't tainted by it, didn't change who they were. That's right. And I think it's a really good model for the lieutenant governor and myself to have those type of mentors that we worked under before. He also was the state party chairman. Uh, in 2010, when I was running the victory program, so our paths crossed again. Uh, he was the chair of the party, and I was working at the party. Man, that was a big year. We went from three statewide elected offices being Republican to 11. Uh, and he provided tremendous leadership to the state party. Well, it was historic. It really was. That 2010, 2012 election cycles, mm -hmm. you kind of look back to that time. We, we started winning, certainly, state house, state senate races earlier than that. But that was that was the shift. Gotcha. Uh, and, and with uh, Senator Treat uh, helping run the party with me, we did. We, we, had, we racked up a bunch of wins. Um, and we ran the party the right way too. That's awesome. So we'll kind of shifting gears here real quick, uh, talk a little bit about um, your role as the Secretary of uh, Tourism Branding. Can you kind of give, just give us a little bit about that, uh, Lieutenant Governor, and, and explain to us uh, so far in the months that you've been in this role, what, what that has kind of looked like for you? Yeah, well, you know, when I ran for Lieutenant Governor, I looked around and uh, of what other Lieutenant Governors around the country were doing, what their job was. I know it's shocking that I would do that, but, but I <laughs> I wanted to see what other lieutenant governors did, right. and, and a big part of their portfolio, most every lieutenant governor that I looked at, was tourism. Some lieutenant governors, that's their only job, to promote tourism in the state. It was no different in Oklahoma. You're chairman of the Tourism Commission right. in Oklahoma, and I kind of really planted my flag on that, that really tourism is the front door to economic development. So all this economic development that we're talking about, retaining and recruiting jobs to right. the state, we got to get people off our roads and bridges to see Oklahoma first, hmm. because when we get people here off our roads and bridges, spending money here, they fall in love with our people. They see how great this state is, how diverse this state is, right. and, and then they start looking at other ways that they can impact Oklahoma. Again, you know, I find a lot of people still have a very antiquated view of Oklahoma. They think of Oklahoma back in the 1907, 1910, right? And it's exciting that we have somebody like you that knows how to. Um, promote the state. Yeah. Are you finding that when you travel around the country and 
We really are. Yeah. You know, again, most people, you're right. They buy a bag of chips and a tank of gas when they're crossing through the crossroads of America right. and, and they don't get a good understanding of the state. Right. And, and we're going to change that. Uh, some of that costs a little bit of money. Some of it doesn't. I mean, some of it just takes a statewide elected official and advocate making sure that, that we're telling our story right. in a much better way. So it is Secretary of Tourism and branding. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do a rebrand of the state as well. Governor Stitt realizes uh, as a business owner as well right. that the brand matters. When you're running a big business and if you're running a state, that brand, that brand absolutely matters. The perception kind of becomes reality. So we'll be launching a new branding uh, campaign in the state this year that we're very excited about. Uh, he, well. he takes branding seriously. He hosted a meeting where we were trying to recruit a business to Oklahoma down in his uh, conference room. Was that two weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, that's right. And, and what is that on your table there? If we have a branding iron in the <laughs> middle of our table. That is yes. awesome. That's, that's right. awesome. That's right. Both for symbolism and decoration. No it's doubt. just fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. We may need to look uh, at yeah, something I'm, like I'm that. Yeah, I'm kind of upset here. we don't have one here. Yeah. We'll, we'll, get we'll, get on that. we'll make a note on that. We'll one. get you one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so speaking to branding a little bit, and and you go into, I, I guess you travel to different states and and see what they have uh, going on. Uh, do you go and talk to other co uh, companies in other states to see who are interested in coming to Oklahoma? You know, we do. We've already done a number of trips. We've been to, down to Dallas a couple times okay. to meet with site selection relocation firms, which has been just a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. Talking to these firms that are hired by states uh, to look at where they should be relocating their business. It's given us a lot of great information. Uh, and we are top 10 in some areas. I mean, our career tech infrastructure is, is the best in the country, us in Georgia. And so we're starting to kind of see where our strengths and weaknesses are. Right. Uh, so we've made a number of trips to Texas. Um, uh, Governor Stitt was just out in Washington, D.C., uh, pitching a company as well. So we will be getting much more aggressive on that front. Uh, and I'm looking at other states from a branding perspective too. Tennessee is a state that did a rebrand a couple of years ago. So okay. it's a best practice that we're kind of looking at. So okay. we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to see what states are doing absolutely. well, but we're also absolutely going around the country and world to hunt for, for businesses to relocate. You know, I think having you and Governor Stitt out there on the trail is beautiful. I mean, two, two guys who've started businesses in Oklahoma who've operated in Oklahoma know the advantages, disadvantages. I can only imagine sitting across from you and Governor Stitt, that you make probably a very plausible argument to them. No, we've done business here. This yeah, isn't theoretical. Right. That's right. And, and, you know, my focus certainly is on that small business entrepreneurial side yeah. too, which again, any company is looking at to see states that are really fostering a good environment for entrepreneurs. Those are the cities and states that are growing. And so we're really excited about that part of it too. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so you mentioned the small business entrepreneurship. Now you own a small business, uh, don't you? We do. Yeah. So due in large part to my wife, who's an inventor. Uh, so she invented the Binksy baby shopping cart hammocks, those little hammocks that clip into shopping carts for babies that can't sit up yet. All the rage. All yeah, the rage. Well, Senator cool. Treat knows the story well. Yeah. Uh, he's got a whole litter of kids as well. So <laughs> yeah. uh, we're, we invent uh, and have invented and will invent a couple more baby products this year. Right. So we'll have three or four products by the end of the year. I like to say the mom blog world is the most powerful force on human <laughs> earth, which is true. Uh, if a moms and dads like pro baby products, they usually succeed. That's right. So we do. I mean, we, we were packaging these up in our kitchen six years ago. That is awesome. Uh, now we have a huge distribution center in Bixby, America. America and we'll ship to all 50 states, about 30 or 40 countries this year. That is really cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're about out of time here. Uh, Senator Treat, do you have anything? Yeah, I, to add? I just want to publicly thank you for yes. not only uh, uh, talking the talk on foster care reform mm -hmm. and, and all that, but actually walking the walk. That's something yes. that's near and dear to my heart yep. of adoption reform and uh, foster care reform. And, and I have not uh, gone down the path of actually being a foster parent. But I want to personally thank you and Lisa for actually stepping up to the right. plate and providing a loving home. That, yeah. that More important than what you do as, as the president of the Senate or lieutenant governor or a businessman is those providing a future for those kids. And I wanted to publicly thank you for well, that. Well, I appreciate that, man. Um, it, it is near and dear to our heart. Our, our church certainly lit us on fire for it. Um, and we've had a number of babies through our house and we'll be doing respite care here soon too. Um, there are certainly changes that we have to make, uh, in, in a lot of other, in a lot of different agencies, but, but it, this should be in the middle of everything that we do, recruiting moms and dads to stand in the gap, uh, when, when those, when those moms and dads are trying to get their life in order so they can get their kids back. Uh, and so I'll continue to be in the middle of, 
uh, foster care arena over the next four years. That's awesome. It, that's huge. That's bigger than anything else we yeah. can do out here. That's absolutely right. right. Well, thank you both for uh, for taking the time to just sit, sit down with us this week and uh, talk to us a little bit about, I guess, updating um, with the lieutenant governor role and uh, explain to us what exactly that looks like and the importance of it also in the in the tourism and branding part of it. So, and hopefully we can have you on here again in a few months and get an update on how the branding's going because you're just starting on it. Uh, that's right. But ho hopefully you're in the next few months we'll uh we already have started seeing yeah we're change. Yeah. six why are you done I mean, come right. on i know i know that's right that's we'll get awesome. out there spring break you know post uh we we have a photo contest in our office hashtag yeah. okay travel takeover so on spring break as you're going around the state take a photo use the hashtag okay travel okay uh okay travel takeover is the hashtag love it uh we'll pick top 20 winners uh, in the month of march and hang those photos in our office see i love that i love i love i love that you're getting just people involved yeah and and, and our state is and, the pro tem ineligible or but you pick? take a selfie take okay. a selfie okay. And, okay. and maybe if you'll be i'm gonna try to win i'm competitive <laughs> if he Come submits on. a portrait i mean that's yeah. gotta be I, a top, I, right? I may have to pick it <laughs> yeah. obligated at yes. that point yeah. absolutely Thank you for joining us. Of Absolutely. course, man. Well, thank, thank you, you guys. guys both. And uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us and listening to our podcast this week. Uh, of course, you can view any of our podcast videos, graphics, anything that we create, our articles are all available at protim.oksenate.gov. Um, feel free to check those out. And uh, it's all information that's there for you. Uh, just don't know what's going on in our state. Know what's going on at the Capitol. It's very important to know and be aware of what's going on here this, at the state Capitol. So, um, and if you do have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at ondeck at, at OKSenate.gov okaysenate.gov and we'll be sure to answer any questions so uh, thanks so much and we'll be back next week with another episode of OKSenate okay on deck bye guys bye